Praise the Lord. It's your girl, Prophetess Pastor Teresa Moulton, coming to you this morning to encourage you to let you know that you can make it. So many times we go through life and life just hands us a bad bill of goods, I'm telling you. But I want you to be encouraged on today and let you know that you can make it and be thou healed in the name of Jesus. I just want to um, pray and then go right into this quick word for you. Father God, we thank you this morning for just shedding your glory and shining your power and glory on me this morning to encourage the hearts of everyone under the sound of my voice that they can make it, that you are healing even the lame and the sick. Uh, You're touching minds that's been overthrown by the enemy in the name of Jesus. But we cast it down in the name of Jesus. We send it back to dry places and we lose God's power uh, this morning to heal and deliver and set free the captive in Jesus name. We pray this prayer by faith in Jesus name. Amen. And thank God this morning. We just say God bless you. Let's turn to the book of Matthews chapter 8. And we're just going to do a couple of scriptures this morning. I want to just encourage your heart. Starting at verse uh, number three, uh, Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, to be clean. Immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, see that. You don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. My God. So here we see Jesus told him to offer his gift after being clean. Amen. We know that when Jesus command you to do something, that means you need to do it. Amen. Nothing less, nothing more. <laughs> Hallelujah. So when you go back and let's just read, uh, matter of fact, let's go back to, uh, we didn't read it, but let's go to seven. Jesus said to him, shall, shall I come and heal him? And the centurion, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. Amen. These are instances where God just heal, you know, because by faith, everything you're going through, if you have the faith to believe God, this is faith that the centurion will be healed. Amen. I mean, come on, let's just take our faith a little higher. No matter what you are going through, leprosy can be healed. Uh, mental instability can be healed. So many people now have a mental anxiety and they're saved. God wants to heal each and every one of us. Amen. So here when Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. So it takes faith to come out of these situations. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. And, you know, the Bible says he that cometh to God must first believe that he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. So we got to diligently chase after God. But one thing for sure, we know God wants to heal you. He healed the leprosy man. And told him to go and present his gift to the priests. Hallelujah. How many know we overcame by the blood of the lamb and the words of our testimony? Know that when God heal you, there's an appointed time. You got to go back and give it to the world. For, let them know Jesus is a healer. He's a deliverer. He's setting his people free from sin and bondage. In the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you. I glorify your name. I lift you up, God. I thank you that there are so many places in the word of God where you have shown yourself to be mighty. You are a healer, God, Jehovah Rapha. We thank you, God. You're still healing. You're still healing leprosy. You're still healing the centurion, people of God. Oh, God, we thank you right now that it does not even amaze you when we call upon you. Because you know we need you in this hour, in the name of Jesus. But we thank you for the faith that it takes 
Without faith, it's impossible. So, God, we thank you that faith can move mountains in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that victory is your portion this morning. Rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. I thank God for just a snippet of the word, just to let you know that there's nothing too hard for God. There's different instances in the word where God just let us know beyond a shadow of a doubt, I'm able to deliver you. In Jesus' name, Father God, once again, we thank you. We honor you. Touch somebody's mind. Touch somebody's body. Hallelujah. Somebody's brokenhearted. Let them know you are a comforter. In the name of Jesus, let them know you are a mind regulator, God. Thank you, Lord, for being a keeper. God, when we don't know how to be kept, we thank you this morning that you're all knowing, you're all powerful in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, God, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, the blood cover this prayer by faith. Amen and thank God. I thank you, God, once again, that faith is healing me. My faith is healing me in Jesus' name. God bless you until the next time. I am your girl, Prophetess Pastor Teresa Moe. God bless. I promise you to come to 